point in muscle pain are complaints that many of my patients suffer from on a daily basis. It's important that I find the real source of their symptoms so that I can make the proper diagnosis and prescribe the right treatment. X-rays, CAT scans, and MRIs have been for the longest time the tests I use to come up with the correct diagnosis. Recent advances in sonar and ultrasound technology have created a more functional and practical approach to evaluate joints, muscles, ligaments, and even nerves. This technology is called musculoskeletal ultrasound. Physical therapy practice will be truly autonomous and part of this autonomous physical therapy practice Diagnostic testing plays a very important role. Clinical evidence and research supports using ultrasound as the first diagnostic test for numerous musculoskeletal conditions. Diagnostic ultrasound offers a number of important advantages compared to X-ray, CT scan, and MRI in terms of safety and effectiveness. Musculoskeletal ultrasound simply uses sonic waves and there is no exposure to radiation. At the same time, diagnostic ultrasound is non-invasive and offers real-time imaging, allowing for examinations of structures at rest and in motion. This ability to capture the movement of musculoskeletal components differentiates it from other imaging modalities and can permit more accurate diagnosis. To have the ability to combine the tremendous value uh, of doing a diagnostic test and offering value to the physician and the patient because through the production of accurate data, now the physician and the physical therapist, they can modify their treatments in such a capacity so that they can um, offer to the patient the most appropriate intervention for the specific uh, problem that the patient has. For a variety of reasons, healthcare providers have gravitated toward more expensive imaging modalities over time. Use of such imaging modalities as CT and MRI instead of lower cost alternatives, such as ultrasound, may not ensure better outcomes, and it also increases the cost to the healthcare system and the cost to your patient. In 2009 alone, CT and MRI accounted for 95% of Medicare allowed charges for all extremity imaging. Only 5% was for ultrasound, which is cost-effective and avoids the inherent risk of radiation exposure. Using a lower cost and a safer approach to imaging would make clinical sense for many conditions without compromising care. An article by Parker et al. published in 2008 indicates that the substitution of musculoskeletal ultrasound for musculoskeletal MRI, when appropriate, would lead to savings to Medicare of more than $6.9 billion in the period from 2006 to 2020. I use musculoskeletal ultrasound not only as a diagnostic tool, but also to provide safe and precise injections. This tool makes a huge difference in the effectiveness of my patient's care.